Uh, apparently, representative of my lovely district in Georgia, Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, just doesn't believe in well-established science. Who knew? Who possibly could have known? We'll get into that here in a sec. But as always, that kind of cringe has to be followed up by some measure of sanity. So let's go ahead and get into the fan art before we go any further into all of this. So, first of all, we have... Uh, apparently my face got transplanted onto my hammer uh, by Broccolis Prime. And then we have a piece that is done by Romy. And honestly, even though they said that this paper hates them, I think it came out pretty freaking well. Honestly. Even with the paper working against them. And then finally we have an animation from Zanju. Amogus. Sus I, I, I still don't understand what's so funny about Sus as Amogus. But I don't know. Maybe you guys will get a little giggle. Okay. With all that said, thank you all for your fan art submissions. They are always greatly appreciated. And if you want to submit fan art to the show, the only and best way to do it is to throw it onto the fan art section of the Discord. It's the only way to guarantee that I'll be able to see it. With all that said, let's go ahead and get into the article. Okay. So the article reads... Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene says she doesn't believe in evolution. She said she doesn't believe in evolution. She doesn't believe in that type of so-called science. Now, that's wonderful. I, we've heard that type of shit a thousand times. Let's get into the article itself and see if that gets substantiated. Mind, this is, a, this is an article from The Hill, and it is summarizing uh, what happened in an episode of Stephen Bannon's Real America's Voice podcast. So just going ahead and throwing that out there. But let's go ahead and read in anyway. See what we can pull from this and see what it might mean. So in an episode of Stephen Bannon's Real America's Voice podcast, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene said she does not believe in evolution and accepts the teaching of the Bible instead. Now, reminder again for anybody in chat, this is the woman who represents me, my district of Georgia, you know, this person literally just denying science. This is the type of person who holds power where I live. Isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? During a discussion regarding theories that the coronavirus was created in a laboratory and purposefully leaked into the public, both of which have not yet proven true, Green said that there is no need for scientific research and development because God exists. There is no need for science because God exists. She goes, why is there any need to create a virus that could spread rapidly to a population to make people sick and kill them? That's a bioweapon. Well, why would there any... So, just, just a, a couple things here. A couple things. One, why would you, as a country with enemies and competitors, create a bioweapon? Well, I've played a lot of Resident Evil, so I can fill in the blank on that answer. Mind, though, it's still not been proven that that's a bioweapon. That theory has been going around since COVID happened, and it's not yet been proven true. And the time to believe that theory is when enough evidence comes up to substantiate it. You don't get fucking cool points for going, I knew it all along. Like, if you're one of the people that believes this based on no evidence, and then it does turn out to be true, then you were right by chance, and you don't get fucking brownie points for your unsubstantiated belief. I'm sorry. Though, even so, you'd expect evidence of that to have come out by now, and it hasn't. So... She goes on to say, uh, it goes on to the article to say, as Changing America previously reported, there's a strong movement that is convinced without any scientific evidence that COVID-19 was part of a gain of function experiment by the Wuhan Institute of Virology that got leaked to the public. As controversial as it seems, the purpose of gain of function research is to supercharge an existing disease to learn more about creating a cure or preventative measure. 
when the former Trump White House strategist asked Green if she buys into the gain-of-function method, her response was that she does not believe in evolution. Or in other words, Green thinks that scientists are incapable of developing something into a new complex form, despite the myriad of examples you can find, especially if you have ever checked out Aaron Raw's channel. You can find information on this. You can find where we've accelerated shit. We have moved things into other locations in order to see them adapt over the generations. We have a bunch of fucking experiments that have been done to prove that this is not only possible, but it happens in reality. This is just a thing that happens. And you can sit there and deny that it's a thing, but unfortunately, the experts do not agree with you. Like, I'm sorry, if you don't agree with well-established science, you need to provide a good reason why. Even better yet, please provide some type of scientific paper showing your evidence as to why they are wrong. Believe me, in the fields of science, you are able to do so, and if you can prove decades of scientific research and conclusions incorrect, you will be brought into the annals of history for all of time. Your name will be known for generations. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, I implore you, if you do not believe in a well-established scientific theory, then please do me the biggest favor. Go disprove it. You have every ability to. According to Magical Slurpuff, she's, she's heliocentric? She believes in a... In, sh, sh, uh, she's Helios... Well, no. Heliocentric is fine. Like, heliocentric... Our sun is the is the middle of our solar system. That's... That's normal. If she were geocentric, then I'd be a little... Concerned. Yeah, she also is the Jewish space laser woman. Yeah, mind. She's the one that believes that Jewish space lasers caused the California wildfires. Like, that's... This woman has a track record of being incredibly wrong about a great many things. Uh, a Gallup poll. Uh, let's see here. Um, blah, blah, blah. I don't believe in evolution. Gr uh, Green told Bannon. I don't believe in that type of episode called science. I don't believe in evolution. I believe in God. Now, mind, you can square that peg easily. You can believe in God and believe in evolution. There's nothing wrong with those beliefs are not incongruent with one another. There may be very individual things in the Bible that evolution disproves, but your belief in your God does not have to be wholly based on a single tome, a single holy book. The existence or non-existence of your deity is completely separate from the words that have been thrown into a book that has been translated and reprinted hundreds of times. So you meant geocentric? Is she geocentric? Is she? I'm curious. Is she geocentric? Hold on. We're just going to look at that real quick. Geocentric. It must include geocentric. I don't see anything on here. Not like, not at a glance. Geo, Geo just brings up Georgia. So let's look up centric. Nah, I don't see anything. I, I don't, it, it's not that I don't believe that she could be because this woman is nightmarishly stupid, but I don't see any evidence to suggest that she is. So I'm going to remain skeptical of that claim until it's brought up. Believe me, that would be fucking hilarious if she is, and also incredibly depressing that somebody that literally thinks that the, the Earth is the center of the universe is... is, is it, it's stupid. Center of our local group, if anything. Uh, a Gallup poll from 2019 found that 40% of Americans believe God created humans, as described in the Bible. That we already knew. Southern evangelicals specifically... 
and not even just Southern Evangelicals. It's it's in a lot of places. Again, you don't have to believe that God doesn't exist to believe in the theory of evolution. You, you don't. You have every ability to accept that a god may or may not be real, and also accept that if that god exists, the mechanism by which they wanted the human race and all of the, the species and genomes in the world to diversify is via evolution. There's this misconception that Christians have a lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time, where evolution is about the origin of life and therefore is incongruent with the idea of of a god. Again, there are specific things in Genesis that are completely disproven by the theory of evolution, but I'm talking about merely having a god. They believe that evolution is incongruent with creation ex nihilo, which is completely incorrect. Evolution is how species diversify. That is how we have the origin of species, not the origin of life. If you would like a scientific study that talks about the origin of life, you may be looking at something like abiogenesis. But even then, abiogenesis, unlike something like evolution, is not a scientific theory. We have a lot of experiments in the realm of abiogenesis. We have been able to replicate a lot of uh, individual uh, amino acids, but we have not been able to create life out of non-life with it yet, or, or even like the beginning single-celled versions yet. We've got building blocks, that's about it. That might fly a little more in the face of your version of God, depending on your belief. But again, evolution is just how species diversify. There's nothing saying that your god didn't create everything ex nihilo and then species diversified from there. Nothing. But I know from my time growing up in Pensacola Christian Academy that that is the case. There are Christians who believe that these things are incongruent. And I was literally taught in school that Darwin recanted all of his evil, unscientific beliefs right before dying so that he would be a good Christian boy as he withered and gasped his last death rattle. So already been here, already dealt with this shit once before when I was in school. I'm really upset that I'm still dealing with it as an adult. But Marjorie Greene's fantasy world is what it is, and I can't exactly stop it. As someone who grew up in California, learning uh, that was actually taught in schools always horrified and shocked me. Yep. I was, in, I was in a Christian academy. Pensacola Christian Academy. It is a combination of Seventh-day Advan uh, Advan Ad Seventh Adventism and uh, the old IFB. The NIFB wasn't a thing when I was growing up. That's what Pensacola Christian Academy is. If you have not gone there or dealt with any of that shit any of it like yeah catholics are generally more chill about science but anywho i don't think anybody's surprised by this i really don't I, it's one of those things where like you're not shocked you're just kind of disappointed like i already didn't like this person i already <sighs> I, I literally live in the area where I see her campaign signs are still up in people's yards and they read Marjorie Taylor Green. Stop socialism now. And I just I hate it so much. I really do. I do not Wow, Baba, you are just shrieking. My cat is very loud. Anyway, uh, Shark Fox Panda dropped 100 bits. I'm pretty sure America is just generally anti-science because uh, I have literally run into multiple people who believe that gravity doesn't exist. And I think the reason we are not flying away is because of buoyancy and density. Oh, my God, that's the flat Earth thing. That's the thing the flat earthers like just that's the thing they use. That's the thing they use, and it's fucking dumb. It's so dumb. Jesus Christ. Anyway. 
Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. As always, everyone, incident a video tagline here. Thank you for watching. I'm I'm tired.